everybody and welcome to Heck to AMC and this is a topic that I have had a very strong opinion about for a long time. Uh, it's a video that, that takes a long time to set up and get the right filming angles right and I've been meaning to do it for a long time even though it's going to be a super short video. Uh, but it's something that I wanted to talk about because it is a situation that every single person that plays Thrones is going to face a lot. Um, it is a very tempting situation. Uh, but I am here to beg you to not make the same mistake that I have made over and over and over again. If you'll see here uh, at our playboard, it's a, a fairly standard setup of something that happens at the end of round one, or at the end of any given round for that matter, and that situation is as follows. Uh, your opponent has a major bomb out as well as one other character, and you are down to one character. And this is the thought that's going to go through your head. My opponent sees that I only have one character out. I have to assume that because I'm playing at a very high level right now, I am, let's say, at a store championship, I'm at a regional, let's say I'm at Gen Con, or let's say I'm at Worlds, I'm going to go ahead and make what I feel is a safe assumption that my opponent is running marched to the wall. Uh, the character that I have out is significant enough that it would make sense for my opponent to throw marched. Uh, he has a safety character that, that the marched will hit so as to keep his bomb safe. And, of course, you're playing at a high level as well, so you also have marched in your plot deck. And the thought that is going to tempt you is, I'm going to get this bastard and I'm going to show him a thing or two. I'm going to throw marched also, and I'm going to snipe his bomb. And I am here to beg you not to make that mistake. Don't do it. And let, let's walk through the potential outcomes there. And hopefully after we talk about it, you'll sort of see that it's really a high risk. I mean, yes, it is a high reward as well. But uh, when you're talking about thrones, just the same as poker, you want to take the decision and the path that will pay off the most consistent amount of time. So when you're talking about it in terms of poker, Let's say you make the same play a hundred times for the same amount of money a hundred times. Uh, you want to go on the percentages. So based on the math, let's say you're going to, that that play is going to be correct 70% of the time. So yes, you are going to be wrong 30% of the time, but overall, over the course of a hundred matches, you have to go with the high percentage play if you want to be profitable at the end of the year. The same exact concept applies to Thrones, whether there's money on the line or not. So if you are a gambler, maybe you want to ignore that. Uh, if you have a gut feeling, that's certainly legitimate. Or if you have a past experience with the player that you're playing against, uh, that also certainly comes into play as well. Uh, but this advice is going to be strictly against playing somebody at a tier one level at some sort of tournament that you've never played against before and there's no past history between you two. Uh, if you have the inkling and the desire to throw marched in this situation, don't do it. Uh, so there's a, there's a couple potential outcomes. Uh, essentially, one is uh, you're going to be right. He's going to throw marched, you're going to throw marched, and you're both going to end up with no characters at the end of the plot phase. Uh, that is really the only positive scenario that could ever happen there, and that is not going to happen the majority of the time, because either uh, he's going to expect it and outsmart you, or he's just not going to be running marched, or he's going to be too dumb to realize he should marched. Uh, so, just right there, there's three reasons not to do it and only one reason to do it. Uh, but I would say more times, at least seven times out of ten, uh, based on personal experience, you are going to march your own character uh, and he is not going to throw march and you are going to shoot yourself in the foot. And let's say best case scenario, you both throw marched and you end up with no characters at the end of the plot phase. Uh, Maybe that evens the match, maybe that helps you come back and win the game, but I can tell you one thing for certain, if you throw marched and he doesn't, you're going to lose the game. So uh, you got to look at risk-reward there. So you are risking definitely losing the game for a chance to maybe win the game. And those are not odds that I like. So please, I beg you, if you're playing at a high level, don't try to be tricky. Make the safe play, make the high percentage play, don't do what I have done several times in the past and learned this lesson the hard way. Don't march yourself. Let's say that one more time. Do not 
march yourself. The risk is not worth it. More times than not, it will cost you the game and you will go home feeling foolish, kicking yourself in the ass. All right, guys, uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Uh, have you had this happen to you before? Have you ever marched yourself before? Uh, please let me know about it. Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching AMC. I love you guys very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.